Uh, talking to some of your teammates, Julio, really, oh, this has been a long time coming for you. How does it feel right now? <laughs> it's, it feels like, like no other. You know, the fact that I am fighting in the biggest stage out there, the journey that I've taken to get there, starting from this, you know, pudgy fat kid. You know, I was like 5'5", five, five, weighing 200 pounds at the age of 14, just like to eat junk food, play video games, and then, you know, then I just started training. My sister brought me in to come in and train, and, you know, this is where I am. You know, I just, it, it's a journey. It's an amazing journey. You know, look, not everybody's going to be a professional UFC fighter, but the fact that, you know, you work hard towards something and now you can achieve something big like this, it's, it, it's an amazing feeling. I mean, you know, look, the moment I got the call, I was I had a smile from ear to ear. You know, then even on the way in, you know, my guy came in with his hands up in front of me and I was just smiling like this and I'm like, I'm just excited to be here. That's it. And it was just, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Does it even feel real to you right now? I mean, you seem uh, very emotional. You're kind of going down memory lane all the time. Yeah, you know, like, it, it, I'm still kind of, like, like, just amazed by it. Like, so much emotion, so much energy, so much excitement, because it's been a journey that I've been looking forward to. So, you know, it's, there's, been, there's been ups and downs, and you just got to overcome adversity, and no matter what, look, you know, you're going to have your opportunity. You're going to make it to the top. That's it. How important was it to set the tone for, for Shane tonight? I mean, I don't know how you guys think as a, as a team at Tiger Show, but how important was it to kind of set that tone and, and get off on the right foot from your team? Um, you know, like, uh, we, we didn't really plan to set the tone. Shane's just an animal all on his own. You know, he knows how to flip that killer, just switch. So, you know, it was just like the fact that, you know, he, he's a rising star. And, you know, like I've been training with him for so long and get to see him just rise through the ranks like that. And then I finally got the call and now this is where I am. So it was just like, we're just both excited. I'm like, I get to fight alongside my teammate. We're both featherweights. We're both freaking so excited, so hungry. And I'm, we're just ready to just go. Is that a state of your life? Oh my God, like no other. You have no idea. Are you married? That's nah, I'm not married. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I have no words to describe it. It's, it's like, you know, it's, it's a dream come true. You know, like I said before, going from being this pudgy fat boy to now being, you know, close to be almost, you know, being almost 200 pounds, being overweight, and now finding the UFC in a featherweight division at 145. I mean, that alone just tells you, just work hard. You're going to make it. That's it. Anybody out there. Train, work hard, I mean, go for, towards what you want. That's it. How do the nerves compare to, from looking for a fight to Dana White's contender series to your original debut to now your UFC debut? Looking for a fight, I, I put a lot of pressure on, on myself for that fight because I felt like I had to impress and I had to make something spectacular. And then when I went out to fight, you know, I wasn't myself. It wasn't me. You know, and then in contender series, I just took the pressure off my shoulders. I was just like, whatever happens, happens. You know what? I get knocked out, I get it up, and I just, you know, I go back and keep training. But, you know, I took the pressure off me, and I just get in there, I just have fun, I get free in that cage. You know, I got the second round TKO in that fight, and in this fight, you know, I just got to kind of settle my excitement because I was excited, I was just thrilled, I was absorbing the energy of the crowd. You know, everyone in Boston's, you know, crowd was roaring, so it was, it was pretty amazing. Alcohol helps <laughs> How do you celebrate the greatest night of your life? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to celebrate because I want to see my teammate fight tonight. I'm super excited for him. And then after he gets his victory, then we're going to go out and celebrate. And it's just going to be just family time, my teammates, everyone all together, you know. Same way, you know, the same people that came up to help me make it up here. Those are the same people I'm going to celebrate with and just keep going straight to the top that way. How busy are you hoping to be in 2018 and who makes sense for you next? Uh, I don't know who makes sense for me. I'm, I'm still, I'm still, the, I'm the rookie. I just started. So it's like whoever it's offered, whoever's ready for me, you know, like uh, I'll, I'll be ready. I'm just going to like said, you know, heal my face up right now and then uh, get back in the room and just keep training. That's it. And whatever's next, I got a whole mountain to climb right now. So I'm still at the base, work my way up. I was the next with your teammate. Uh, you were fighting, he was so nervous, and, and he wanted you to do well. Your thoughts on, on, your, uh, on your fight, on your performance? Uh, like I said, you know, I had a lot of energy going in there, and I just had to kind of, I got to learn how to settle it. But, you know, it was, 
You know, I felt, you know, like I felt like there's things I'm going to fix, but you know, it was my first fight. I'm just excited to be here. That's it. You know, there's, you know, I, whatever way anybody wants to see it, then that's up to them. But to me, you know, I got, I got my win and now let's just move on, go back, fix certain things and let's just keep moving up to the top. Is there a point where you thought this day would never come? You've been doing this for quite some time. Um, you know, it, uh, at some points it felt like it, it, it was, I wouldn't say snatch, but it just felt like it just got away from me. You know, looking for a fight, you know, I saw people get their contracts. And although, you know, I, I dominated my match, you know, it didn't go the way I, kind of, I wanted to play out. So, you know, I didn't get that chance. Then, you know, I had contender series. I got my second round TKO, but, you know, I, I, I didn't get the contract. And way back when I was fighting at Bantamweight, you know, I was offered a fight in Canada when I, I think I was like two or three and oh. But, you know, that chance didn't happen, and everything happens for a reason. You know, no matter what, I just kept my head up, and I'm like, you know what? When it's my time, it's going to be my time to get in here. And the stars align. It couldn't have been a better place. I'm in Boston. <laughs> Three-hour ride for me. There's probably a few different ways fighters can get into the UFC. You can get signed out right. Uh, there's the Ultimate Fighter TV show. There's uh -huh. looking for a fight. There's a contender series. Uh, in your opinion, if you were to give advice to any fighters that want to try and make it to the UFC, with those options available, what would you kind of say is the best route to the UFC? You know, it, everyone out there is different. You know, some people are different types of characters. Some people have, you know, different personalities. So it's, uh, for me, like, the contender series was, was a great way to go in there because, you know, it, there was, I didn't want to do the Ultimate Fighter because that's a lot of, like, reality and drama and build rights. So I just wanted to be with my camp go in with my camp and the people that helped me get there and prepare and you know that's what we did and I think the contender series is a great way for people you know look you're not guaranteed a contract but you get to show who you really are and the people that brought you up so it, would, it was great I mean for the experience was great I mean from start to finish so I think the contender series was a great way in and also look just keep fighting just keep you know putting yourself out there, take your fights, you know, stay in shape, stay ready. I mean, I got a short notice fight and, you know, I was, like I said, no matter what, even though I didn't get the contract the last couple times, I just kept training because I knew this day was eventually going to come and I didn't want to be like, crap, I'm not even close to weight, I can't fight, right? I just want to be like, I'm ready, let's do this and, you know, now this is where I am. Just, you're after saying you were 200 pounds at one stage, but, and now you've got the UFC. Can you just give a message to someone who's maybe sitting at home and has always wanted to start a martial art but think I'm too fat, I'm too old, yeah. I'm not going to be able to do this. Because what you're saying may mean a lot to a lot of people who are watching at home, but they won't do anything about that. Yeah, look, this think, is, it won't apply to me, I can't do it myself. Look, this is, this is a place for everybody. You know, look, it, it's martial arts, it, it's, it's a self journey. You know, like I said, I started as a, a pudgy fat boy, 5'5", five, five, 200 pounds, and you know, look, not everybody out there is going to fight in the UFC, but martial arts is a great way for you to get yourself started. You know, it's a place for you where you get to progress on your own and make yourself better, right? Like I said, look, you're not, your objective, there. not everyone's objective is to make it here. That was my dream, and I'm here. And for everybody else, it's just, just go do it. Go train, all right? You can do it. It's not, there's no, there's no such thing as being too overweight or not being athletic enough. Just get in there and do it. You're going to see how far you're going to get. Just work hard. Don't give up. How much has uh, Tiger Schulman influenced your journey to this? I mean, I'm going on to almost 17 years. I've been with them from day one. My sister brought me in and, you know, from there, I just took off. They, they guided me from being that fat boy to where I am now. I mean, I took, I went from being a fat boy to then competing in jiu-jitsu tournaments to then doing MMA fights to then doing the New York City Golden Gloves to then doing kickboxing. I, you know, they put me in every discipline to make myself well-rounded and, you know, look where I am. It helped me in every aspect. I want to, I want to know that when I made it here, I was at every part of my game the way it should be. And they helped me prepare, right? Then, like I said, I've been with them from day one and they brought me here. April 7th, Barclays Center, you want to be honest? Maybe, let's see. That's it, I'm just going to heal up and I'm just going to be back in the gym. So it's literally, it's in my, in my area, in New York City. So I'll be down for it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Cheers. <laughs>
Oh, I'll definitely, I'll definitely post it and I'll show you guys. Yeah, I'll post it up. You'll see the rolls and everything.